Hello, welcome back to some 1961 Cincinnati Reds Stratomatic action. Today the Reds uh, are in Pittsburgh to take on the Pirates in game number two of a three-game set. It's Wednesday, June the 14th, 1961. The Reds come in at 34 and 21, as you can see, against the Pirates, again, who were World Series champions last year, 1961, are off to a not so great start and, and in real life uh, didn't do so great this year. They are 22 and 29. First game uh, of the series, the Reds won two to nothing uh, behind a combined shutout of Jim Maloney, Bill Henry, and Jim Brosnan. Uh, Frank Robinson, who is just tearing it up, hit his 22nd home run. Uh, he only had 36, so he is having a super phenomenal year. Uh, if he continues that pace, that would make an interesting uh, tabletop talk to discuss the merits and demerits of, of that situation, but I'm enjoying it so far. So anyway, on the mound for... Pirates is Bob Friend, uh, who was probably their one of their best pitchers, uh, but he is three and six with a 516, so he's underperforming a bit. Uh, for the Reds is Jim O'Toole, who's eight and three. Uh, so we will get this game started. So again, the Reds are two games behind the New York, or the uh, San Francisco Giants, who are overperforming by four games. Uh, the Reds are, are one game better than they were in real life at this point. Uh, and so uh, the, uh, I think the uh, Dodgers are in town to take on the uh, Giants, so hopefully they can make some hay with them. No, actually Milwaukee's in San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco just beat up on the Dodgers over the weekend, so I think they swept the series. Uh, and uh, Orlando Cepeda's having a great year, not as good as Frank Robinson, but still very good so anyway without further ado get the game started leading off for the Reds is Eddie Casco again on the upper right hand corner there you can see the stats the white is their real stats the yellow is their replay stats the red is their stats for today so Casco comes in at 293 a home run and 18 RBIs the right handed pitching friend versus the right handed hitting Casco I missed the tower right off the bat. 1-5, and that's going to be a routine grounder to short. Grote will field it and throw him out, and this game is underway. Brings Don Blassen game to the plate. He's uh, in a bit of a slump. He's hitting 221 uh, with no home runs, 10 RBIs. He is leading the National League with sacrifice hits, so I obviously... When the opportunity arises, let's let him do that. He is an A bunner. 4-11 versus a lefty, and that's grounded down to first base as Blossing Game pulls a change up. Uh, Stewart, not known for his defense, will make that one. And underhand to Friend, and quickly there's two away here in the top of the first. Brings Veda Pinson up. He's hitting 323, 11 home runs, 37 RBIs. He's quietly having a very good year, underperforming just a little bit in the average, overperforming a bit uh, with the home runs as he's hit 11 of his 16 already. 2-8, and that'll be another routine grounder to short. Throat sets and throws, and that'll do it for the Reds in the first. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We'll go to the home half of the first, no score. So Jim O'Toole, left-handed pitcher extraordinaire, is 8-3 and three with a 342 ERA so far. And he will face the start with the only left-handed hitter in the uh, Pirate lineup today, which is Bill Verdon. Verdon's hitting 305, four home runs, 14 runs batted in. That's a 5-9, and that's going to be a strikeout. A wave and a miss. Bird not able to catch up with that one. And there is one away. Hold on just a second here. Got to add some stuff to my scorebook that I forgot. Okay. I like to have the um, their defensive ratings and their run ratings. Just a little more Mercer for me. Takes a little bit more time, but I enjoy that. So anyway, Dick Grote. 
one out, nobody on. He's underperforming substantially. As you can see, he's about 60 points off of his normal average. Hopefully he will catch up once we leave town. That's a 310, and that's trouble. That's hit out to left field, down the line, over the head of Freeze. That's in the corner. Robinson will chase it down. And Grote is in with his fifth RBI, or fifth double of the season. Brings up Roberto Clemente. He's underperforming a bit too. He had a very good year at 351. He's hitting 318 with 11 home runs, 37 RBI. Turn the crowd down just a little. Make sure that they're there, but not too annoying. I know some people don't like the crowd at all, but I enjoy it. So. All right, so Roberto Clemente will step in. Grote at uh, second base runs at an 11, so he's not a a great runner. 4 8, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Jim O'Toole reaches back. Here's the heater, and Clemente not able to get it. So big strikeout there for O'Toole. There's two away, and that brings Dick Stewart to the plate. He uh, is hitting 327, 11 home runs, 26 RBIs. Uh, this might be a good opportunity to intentionally walk Stewart. Let me see what kind of clutch hitting Road has, or Don Hoke, rather. And he's not much of a clutch hitter, so I'm going to go ahead and give Stewart a free pass here. So that puts him on first and second. Two away for Don Hoke, who's hitting 286, three home run. Uh, 19 runs batted in. Again, not much of a clutch hitter. His 2-5 and 2-8 earned to pop out. That's a 2-7 versus the lefty, and that's going to be a walk. And it will load it up for the Pirates. That brings Gino Simoli to the plate. He will be traded to Milwaukee later in the season. But so far, he's hitting 254, a home run and eight RBIs and limited play. So O'Toole here with a early threat. See what he can do to get out of it. That's a 1-5. Ah, crap. That's not good. That's a two-run, a two-star single. So played the percentages, and it just didn't work out this time. So... Grote will score, Stewart will score. Don Hoke, who runs at a 14, will make it to third easily. And the Pirates are up two to nothing. Reds lost this game four to five in real life. And they are off to repeating history. So two run single for Gino Samoli. And that brings Hal Smith. Catcher, he's overperforming a bit, 263, 4 RBI. So they're holding Samoli on at first. Let me make sure that's what I want to do. Actually, I don't. He doesn't automatically get a lead, and he needs it too. So I'm going to not hold him at first and take my chances. What in the world? <laughs> they're trying to do a delay steal of home. Wow. So one to five, he's out at second base. So I'm going to throw to second and take those odds. It's interesting managerial movements here. And that's a I'm going to get the man at second. That's what I was intending to do. And we got a 17. And he's out and Hope does not score. So that that was <laughs> that was something. I've never seen that before. All right, Samoli so was out stealing. Two to four, out number three. We'll just say that was a botched play. <laughs> Again, that was exciting. So they got uh, two runs, a couple of hits, no errors. They leave one runner on. So after one inning here in Pittsburgh, Pirates are up by two. So Bob Friend will take the mound for his second inning of work. He will start out with Frank Robinson, the terror of the National League. Uh, again, Frank's hitting 344, 22 home run, 
Uh, 56 runs batted in, 16 doubles, couple triples. The only thing that he's underperforming in is his walks. He's only got uh, 19, and he had 17, 71, and he's a little underperforming in stolen bases so far. But other than that, he is killing it. So it'll be interesting to see where those home runs end up. 6-8, and that's a hard grounder. In the hole it's short. Groat's able to get to it. <clears throat> Backhands, throws, and gets the speedy Robinson by a step. One away. Gordy Coleman, who's quietly having a decent year, 261, eight home run, 26 runs batted in. Left-handed hitter. He gets a 2-8, and that's a ground ball to third as he slaps it the other way, but Hoke is there, and he will throw him out for the second out of the inning. Best Bell, grizzled veteran, coming right field today, is up. He's hitting 330. He's overperforming substantially by about 80 points. He's already hit two of his three home runs, so this Bell having a good year, and he's the better defensive right fielder. Uh, he shares duty with uh, Wally Post, another veteran, and then uh, Jerry Lynch has been getting some playing time. Four or five, and that slapped the other way as well, out to left field. Samoli will get it, and that'll do it for the Reds as they go in order for the second inning in a row. So far, Bob Friend is having his way with the Cincinnati offense. So we go to the bottom of the second, 2-0 Pittsburgh. All right, so Hal Smith, who was at, at the plate uh, in that last interesting uh, turn of events, will step back in. He's hitting 263 again with four runs batted in. It's a 5-10, and that's a ballpark check single. It's uh, average weather here at Forbes Field, and it's 1-12 to for singles, 1-2, to as you can see there, for homers. But we proceed to roll a 19. Go 5-10, 19. I do have the computer to distribute the out, so those aren't always pop out. So that's a ground ball to freeze, and he will throw him out one away. I think that's about the only computer thing that I... It did. Everything else is pretty much cards and dice, except uh, I am doing the uh, the real life pitchers hitting, so instead of the generic ones. So, Mazeroski, who has had a pretty good year against the Reds, will step in next. He gets a 5 7, and he proceeds to strike out as that's the third strikeout by O'Toole. He tries to hold up. Zimmerman asks the first base umpire for his opinion, and he says he went around. That will be a strikeout swinging, out number two. Bob Friend, pitcher, uh, is hitting one, hit 139. Again, Stratomatic won't let you see the uh, pitcher's uh, replay stats. I don't know why that is. You think that would be an easy fix? I would like to see it fixed, but the last three versions I've had since I've got back into the computer version uh, is still not fixed. So 2-7, 1-13. Oh, wait a minute. Looking at the wrong card. 2-7 is a strikeout. Off-speed pitch. Friend, watch it goes by. He will strike out looking. So the Pirates go in order. Their second at bat of the game. And we go to the third. 2-0 Pirates. Gene Freeze, who's having a, a very good overperforming year. He's hitting 369. He's about 100 points higher than his real life stats, and he's hit 17 of 26 home runs already, 15 of 27 doubles. So, uh, again, he's having a very good year. I mean, he had a decent year, not this decent. I think he's second behind Orlando Cepeda in average. He was first for quite a while. 4-7, and he proceeds to single again. So that's what's been happening. He's been lucking out on the pitcher's card substantially. So getting the roll, so that happens. He finds himself at first base as he slaps it to left. Samoli throws it back in. So it looks like Friend holds at a zero. Uh, Hal Smith has a minus one arm. Gene Freeze, if he gets a lead, he needs a six for that. They are holding him on. He might take Take that chance, see what we can get here. And he is not able to get the lead, so we will hold there. So they got the corners in. 
Uh, oddly enough, I'm not going to bunt with the pitcher coming up unless it was Perky. Perky can hit. Uh, O'Toole, not so much. So that's a 5-8, and he strikes out. First strike out of the game for Fred. Fastball right on the corner. Zimmerman admires it. He is out looking one away. So O'Toole, who is a B buncher, will be called on to do so. If he can lay it down. Showing bunt, lays it down. Friend looks at second, but decides to go to first. A successful sacrifice by O'Toole. Call that one to four for two outs. So that puts Freeze, who runs at a 14 at second base with good speed. Eddie Casco rounded out to short to start the game. In a clutch situation, his 3-9 turns to a pop-out. That's a 1-7. That's a single to center field. This could be an exciting play. Verdon, uh, Bill Verdon has a minus two arm. They were two outs. It looks like one to 15 he will score. We will send him on that. They're throwing home. The trailing runner is one to eight. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and hold the trailing runner and take my chances at the plate. And that's a 10, and he slides in safely. So Eddie Casco with his 19th run batted in. And the Reds have cut the lead in half. So not a great throw by Verdon. He would have needed a perfect, almost a perfect one to get him. Reds are on the board. So Casco. Uh, we'll go ahead and let blasting game hit. So Casco at first runs out of 15. Here's the pitch. We get a 6-8. And that's lofted out to center field. Verdon will get to it with no problem, and that will do it for the Reds in the third. But they do pick up that lone run. We go to the home half of the third. Uh, now 2-1 to one, Pittsburgh. At the top of the order for the Pirates. And their half of the third. Again, the only left-handed batter in the lineup is Bill Verdon, and he will hit first here in the third. A uh, Jim O'Toole, his uh, lefty-righty is even, so he's as equally effective against both sides of the plate. So Bill Verdon, who struck out, will get his second crack at O'Toole. Four, five, that's grounded down to second base. Glossing, hang, glossing game, rather. They'll field it cleanly, and there's one away in the third. Dick Grote doubled and scored the lone run for the Pirates. You see, that was his fifth double of the year. I like to put that in the scorebook. So O'Toole looks for the sign from Zimmerman. And I threw the dice in the floor. Always have a spare. 4-7. Uh, and that's going to be a walk. So O'Toole does walk a few. As this is his third one today. First one of those was intentional. But three walks nonetheless. So Grote uh, is no chance, uh, no threat to steal. So Coleman will play behind him. Roberto Clemente struck out in his first effort of the game. We'll see if he can fare better here. Four, six, and that's a hard grounder, but right at Casco. He will field it. Fire on the blasting game. Nice turn. And they get Clemente for the uh, tailor-made double play. That's one disadvantage to hitting it hard. Uh, sometimes you hit it right at somebody and you get that inning-ending double play. So that'll do it for the Pirates in the third. So we're a third of the way through. Reds down by one. Three, four, and five due up for Cincinnati. Here in the fourth. Made a pinson, grounded out. They'll step in first. Left-handed hitting pinson versus the right-handed pitching Bob Friend. One, six, and that's a single. Needed a one to ten for a double. He's already hit 16 doubles. This will just be a single this at bat. Pinson with good speed. We'll see what he looks like on the base paths here. 
So if he gets a lead, he's got a 65% chance. I need red, not green, for a single. Everybody knows that. Hmm. There's a good chance he can get a lead. 1 to 13. Yeah, let's give it a chance. He's running with the pitch. So here's the throw from Hal Smith. And he gets a 1, so that could be trouble. Let's see. I don't remember what Hal Smith's uh, T rating is, but we'll see here. That's a 15, so that's probably good. Nope, he has a bad T rating, so he throws it into center field. And the aggressive play pays off for the Reds, so that's a stolen base for uh, Pinson and E2 to add insult to injury. The Reds have the tying run at third with nobody out, so interestingly enough, the Pirates are going to play the infield in here early on. Figuring with O'Toole on the mound, they might have some trouble scoring some runs, so let's see what um, I always do that. Every time there's a stolen base, I always turn the card over. So Frank Robinson is still up, so not who the Pirates want to see at the plate in this situation. Let's see what he can do. Frank Robinson is leading the National League with 56 runs batted in as well. So 2-6, 4, ah, there he goes. <laughs> what a year he's having. 2-6, rolls of 4, and that one is deep. And it is long, and Simoli will not be able to get to it. Home run number 23 of the year for Frank Robinson already. Wow. He is getting the rolls, as many of the Reds are. Unfor uh, oddly enough, our, you would think we'd be more than one game better uh, than we were in real life because that's pretty consistent. But our pitching's not doing nearly as well overall. But anyway, home run number 23. Two more RBIs will make him even further ahead of Orlando Cepeda. And the Reds are now up by one. So how about that? Gordy Coleman will face the dejected Bob Friend. 4-8. And that's going to be a single. So that just continues to not go well for Bob Friend here. Base hit for Coleman. Coleman is not going to be held on and not going to try anything here. So they are bringing the corners in for Bell. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let Bell hit away. So there's nobody out still. Uh, Gus Bell flew out to Simoli and left his last at bat. 2-4. That's a two-star single. So it's, again, the Reds are getting the rolls when it, offensively. I think they're still hitting close to 300 as a team. Here we are in the middle of June. So they're bringing the infield in. Freeze, who singled and scored. We'll see what he can do. Six, five. That's a shortstop X. So with the infield being in, that's going to make it harder for Grote to get it. He's a 333, so he's already not a great fielder. And that's a 13, however. So they get a G2. So they'll say that's going to throw him out the plate if he doesn't make an error. And he just missed it. See, we got a 13 on the 20 side in, so I think that's going to throw Coleman out at the plate. So Grote fields it. Coleman tries to. Oh, no, it doesn't. And so with the infield in, it changes a little bit. So they were. Coleman wisely held, and then they threw Freezy out. Bell will go to second. So one away. Reds have him at second and third. Infield still in for Zimmerman, who struck out looking. His last at bat. So for the Pirates, they do have eight and nine coming up. Right, bounce back in. That's the way I roll it. 6-7. That's a second base X. Now, uh, uh, Mazeroski is a much better fielder. So, see how this works out. So, 16. That's probably going to hold the runners. He gets an 11. Oh, wow. That's about the only place he has an error is at 11, and he found it. 9-11, yep. Mazeroski normally short-handed boots it. Coleman will score. Bell to third. And Bob Friend is having a spell. It should have should have been an out. Again, yeah, not going the Pirates way this year. Last year obviously was uh, the stars were aligned, but not this year for him. It's going even a little worse in the replay. 
they're going to do the corners in, try for the double play up the middle. Jim O'Toole, who had a sacrifice butt. We'll see what he can do. Come ahead and uh, could butt, try to butt Zimmerman over to second. Let's go ahead and see what happens. It's a 4 5, and that's a, th let's see, he's a lefty. That's going to be good enough for a sacrifice fly. So, how about that? O'Toole's laid on a fastball, but he hits it far enough that Samoli won't be able to throw out Bell, who runs at a 14. So, the Reds add another run. A sacrifice fly by the pitcher. Sacrifice fly to seven. That's out number two. RBI for Mr. O'Toole. That looked like an F. All right. Five to two, Cincinnati. So, they. Four runs here, so Zimmerman on first, two out for Casco, who has an RBI himself. 6-6, six, six, and that's a e easy fly ball out to center, and mercifully that'll do it for the Reds here. Uh, but the uh, Reds get four. Get the totals here. Get four runs on one, two, three, four base hits. One error, they left on one. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. The Reds now up five to two. All right. Jim O'Toole looking for win number nine. I believe Koufax is the only other pitcher who has nine. Uh, I could be wrong about that. But I know he if he's not going to be in the lead, he'll be tied with the lead. Because nobody has ten yet. So Dick Stewart was intentionally walked and scored. His first at bat. 1-5 versus a lefty, and that's going to be trouble. It's an 8 here. So, uh, Dick Stewart had an awesome year this year, so that's going to be his sixth double as he puts it in the left center field gap. And the Pirates not laying down. Double number 5, so leadoff double. Don Hoke. <coughs> He was he walked and got as far as third in the first. The tool looking here to hold on to this lead if at all possible. Five six and that's a single to right. See they'll probably hold Stewart at, at uh, third. Yeah he's a nine runner and, and they're behind so not taking any chances. So now they got him on the corners with no out. See, Hoke, not an automatic lead, so I'm going to just play the infield back for the double play. Not going to hold Hoke. Gino Simoli, who singled and then was caught stealing unexplainedly <laughs> to end the first. I can't hit that thing at all today. 3-5, and that's going to be a fly ball out to left with a question mark. Robinson has a zero arm. Stewart runs at a nine. There's nobody out yet, so I might, they probably, yep, Frank Osiek at third. Third base coach is going to play it safe and hold him. Just to fly out for Samoli, one away. Al Smith grounded out to third. Reds would like to see another one of those right here. 3-10, and that's a fly ball to right field question mark, so how about that? <laughs> uh Slow Stewart, that's runner's uh, slow nine on Stewart. Uh, Bell has a minus two arm. Let's see. Nope, they're not going to chance it. So fly out to nine, two out. So th this is the stuff I love. I mean, this is why this game is so great. I mean, Stewart is a slow runner, and it's making a big difference. Now, if Hope, who runs at a 14, was over there, they probably would have chanced it at least on that second effort. But with Stewart, and you're down by three, you know, you know they're holding him, so I love this stuff. A lot of fun. All right, Mazeroski, two out. Uh, he is not a clutch hitter by any stretch. He has one seven, three five, and three nine all turned to pop out. So, but he does have a. He has had a good luck with the Reds this year. Two three one to eleven is a single, and he does it again. <laughs> uh, isn't that funny how that works out sometimes? So he's going to drive in a run. Hoke will hold it second. RBI number 21 for Bill Mazeroski. And, of course, we all know what he did to end the World Series last year. So 
I guess he thinks we're the Yankees. So the chances were not very good that he was going to be successful there, but yet he was. All right. Bob Friend. Let's see if they let him hit. Yep, they're going to let him hit away. 312, and that's a bouncer back to the mound. The tool will walk it over to first and underhand it to Coleman. And that'll do it for the Pirates, but they get get a run back. So now the lead has been cut to two. We've got three hits, no errors. They leave a couple on. We've got four in the books here at Pittsburgh. Five to three Reds. All right, blasting game will lead off for the Cincinnati team. He's 0 for 2. Again, hitting at a robust 218 now. 2 6, and that's a ground ball to short. Got good wood on it, but Grote will throw him out nonetheless. One away. Blasting game was the only red hitter not to bat last inning, as they ended up with four. Bay DePenson, he had, that was his eighth stolen, stolen base last inning. He singled and scored so far today. Four, five. That's a lofted out to left field. Benson goes the other way. Samoli so will find it. There's two away here in the fifth. Here he is. National League killer Frank Robinson hit his 23rd home run. He's got 58 RBIs now. 346. See what he can do here with two outs. 3-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. So, Friend wins this battle. Mighty swing by Frank Robinson, but he misses the changeup. Just guessing fastball on that one, looking for home run number 24, but comes up empty, and the Reds go in order in the fifth. The Pirates have the top of the order coming up here in their, their half of the fifth. Bill Verdon, 0 for 2. We'll step in first. 2-10, and lefty versus lefty. He's going to win that battle as he singles to lead off the lead off here the inning. So not what uh, O'Toole having a hard time letting the Pirates inch back into this thing. So Verdon is not a good base dealer. But I'm going to hold him anyway because I think that's what they would do in real life. I don't think they're going to bunt with Grote down by two. So let's see. Nope, they're going to let him hit away. Grote is doubled and walked. 6-10, and that's a third base X. Freeze is not a good fielder at a 421. But we'll see if he can get it. Nope, that's going to be a two-star single. As he's not able to get to it, we get a five. So that's a rare play. So that might be Grote getting thrown out at first. Let's see. Yep, that's what happened. That's a base hit. Uh, freeze, get, they throw it back in to Freeze, and Freeze throws behind uh, Grote at first as he takes too wide of a turn, and he is thrown out. So Verdon makes it to third. It's a single for Grote, so we'll say he's out. Says, uh, oh, let's see how they score it here. They scored it. Let's see, they did. I'm gonna say, um, seven to five to three. But we'll say one away. So, Clemente with one out. I think we'll keep the infield back. Don't want to give them a big inning, so hopefully they can get Clemente to do something that won't get a run in here. 6-4, that's a shortstop X, so that's going to be a run scored at any rate. Hopefully we can get the out at least. Casco's the 227. Gets a 10, so he'll make the play. 8-12, but makes an error. Dang on it. So Casco not able to field it cleanly, boots it. And the Pirates are now within one. First error of the game by the Reds. The Pirates have committed two. So 
Clemente's on at first. He's being held on, of course. One out, Dick Stewart, who you don't want to see up. He's hit his fifth double. And they're trying to hit and run with Stewart. Wow. So uh, he hits it to second base. Clemente goes to second. But I normally don't have any issues with the computer manager, but that's two times today that I would have to disagree. <laughs> with Stewart, your best hitter up, I don't think I would have hit and run. But he's out four to three nonetheless. In baseball, weird things happen. So, you know, and some managers make really ridiculous calls, and it happens. So I guess that's part of the game. That'd be another interesting video to talk about. All right. So Stewart's out four to three. Hoke is up. So uh, hmm. Let's see why the Samoli's he's on deck. He is not a clutch hitter. So I'm going to play the percentages again. The last time we intentionally walked, it didn't work out. I'm going to try it again. That puts him at first and second. Two out for Samoli. Moly has already had a two-run single today, so we'll see if he, if the strategy pays off this time or not. So the tying run at second base in Clemente, he runs at a 15, very good speed. 1-6 versus the lefty, and boy, that's his column, but we found the out. So that's lofted out to center field. Pinson will get to it, and the strategy pays off for the Cincinnati Ball Club this time. But Pirates cut down the lead to one. They get a run on a hit an error they leave two on we've got five recorded it's five to four Cincinnati so we've got a good game here Wardy Coleman is singled and scored he'll lead off the Reds here in the sixth Bob friend still on the mound 310 and that's a strikeout Check out number three of the day for Fred, who's walked nobody so far. Swing and a miss. 43 strikeouts on the season for Bob Fred. One away. Gus Bell has singled and scored in two at bats. One eleven, and that's a hit the other way. Oak is there and throws him out for out number two. Gene Freeze with two out, nobody on. It's a 1-5, and that's a strikeout. So strikeout number four of the game. Swing and a miss. Nice curveball by Friend there. As it breaks further than Freeze was anticipating, and he doesn't get to it. The Reds go in order once again. They've gone in order four innings so far today. All right, five and a half down. Reds up by one. Al Smith, I got the Pirates got the bottom third of the lineup due up here in the sixth. Al Smith is 0 for 2. 4 10, and that's a center field X. Benson's a 1 10, so he, he'll get to the ball. He's had a few more errors than he should have. So a 2, so he, it's a fantastic play as he gets to one that most center fielders wouldn't have. And he gets a 11, 14, but he hits that 14 again. Man, he's hitting that way too many. That's <laughs> the way the dice rolls, man. That's a two base error. Man. Had to put Smith on at second. E8. So I guess the, the, uh, Lucky rolls can be lucky and un unlucky, so I guess you got to take the good with the bad. All right, so Bill Mazeroski is up. Hmm, he's a C bunner, but I'm going to play the infield back. Let's see, oh, they're going to let him hit. I guess it depends on what they were planning on doing with Bob Friend up next. 1 8 versus the lefty, so that's hit back to the pitcher, so that should keep Smith at second. Tool fields it, throws him out, and uh, yep, Smith holds it second, so big out there, not advancing the runner. One away, so that brings the pitcher. I'm going to bring the infield in, see if they, not the infield in, the corners in, rather, see if they let Friend 
Yeah, they're going to let him hit away. Wow, not even button. That's an interesting strategy. 1-7, and he strikes out. I guess it is early in the game, and they're trying to conserve their relief pitchers. They didn't have 4 million relief pitchers back then, so they, they went with their starters longer, which I prefer by far. All right, Bill Verdon. Big two-out clutch situation here. His 1-4 and 2-8 turned to pop-outs. We're going to obviously take our chances here with him. 3-4, and that's a ground ball down to first base. Coleman will field it. Flips to O'Toole, and O'Toole is able to dodge the bullet. So for the first inning in three, he holds them scoreless. They get uh, no hits, one error, one runner left. Top of the seventh, five to four, Cincinnati Reds. That's eight, nine, and one for the Reds. Uh, Zimmerman has reached on an error and struck out. Use an insurance run here, so 5-8. That's a, I'm going to start with Zimmerman as he whiffs. Strikeout number five for Friend. Fastball down away right on the corner. And Zimmerman is rung up looking, one away. Go ahead and let O'Toole hit here. Again, 172 average. He's got a sacrifice fly and a sacrifice bunt. 4-6 versus the lefty, and that's going to be a single. So O'Toole figures he will take measures into his own hands, and he le leads off with a single. Or doesn't lead off. That's a one-out single, rather, and he runs at a 12, which is a little above average for a pitcher. So I've got some speed, not a, not a stolen base threat. Casco is one for three with an RBI. We'll see if he can keep the rally going. 6-5, shortstop X. Road is a 334. Three. That's not gonna that's gonna get through for a single. He gets an eight. So no air. So that's a one star single as O'Toole holds it second, and the Reds have two runners on. All right, blasting game. It's not who you want up here. I could bunt, but there's just really no reason in it. So let's see if he can avoid a double play or get lucky. He's 0 for 3 so far today. 5 6. And that's going to be lofted out to center field, or right field rather, in Clemente. Has a bazooka out there. We'll get to it. I'm sure O'Toole will probably Let's see. Actually, the only, on this particular play, the only chance of him getting out is a 20, but he's probably going to hold. So we'll take our chances with that. Ooh, 18. Uh, so he's going to have to hold. Because again, Clemente's got a bazooka out there. So fly out nine, out number two. So it's up to Pinson. Pinson's one for three. Uh, Pinson's uh, not a clutch hitter, but it's not too bad. So we have to roll for this one because this is an important at bat. Three, five, and that's a two star single. So how about that? Beta Pinson comes through with a big clutch single, and Tool will score from first as he hits it to left field. Casco will make it to third as he runs into 15. And Bob Friend is tired, and the Reds are up by two. So they got him on the corners. Two away, big two-out clutch hit there for Pinson. That brings up Pirate killer Frank Robinson, who already has hit his 23rd home run of the year. If they, uh, if Danny Murtaugh will go to the, go to the bullpen. And looks like uh, Roy Face uh, um, to relieve Friend. Face is a righty. He is a three and one, three saves with a 4.34 ERA. Let's get his card. That'll do it for uh, Bob Friend. He was the most used starter for the Pirates. Not able to get it done today. Roy Face here with a bit of trouble himself. So Pinson is a 17 at first. I'm not going to try to steal. Let's just see what Frank Robinson can do, which can be a lot. Oddly enough, he's not a clutch hitter. His 1-6, 3-2, and 3-11 all turn to pop outs. But <laughs> he's still amazing nonetheless. So 3-6, and he strikes out. Face 
It's the dangerous Robinson. Off speed pitch and Robinson fooled by that one. Watch it goes by. Time for our seventh inning stretch here. So the Reds get one run, three hits, no errors. They leave a couple on. Big insurance run. It will tour a little bit of breathing room. So we've got our trivia question here during the seventh inning stretch. In 1910, which president of the United States began the custom of throwing out the first ball of each season? I believe that was Woodrow Wilson. Nope, William Howard Taft. A little bit before Wilson. So William Howard Taft. I didn't know that. All right, so we got two, three, and four due up here in the bottom of the eighth for the uh, Pirates. Dick Grote, who is two for three, or two for two, rather, with a walk. Start off. Five, eight. That's a fly ball out to left field. Robinson will track it down, one away. So if the Reds can hold on to win this, they will be two games better than they are were in real life at this point. Roberto Clemente is 0 for 3. He's not had a great game, even though he was a great player. 3-10, and that's a single. Dick Stewart, most dangerous pirate hitter, arguably with Clemente, is up next. Let's see, Stewart's a little better against lefties, but not much. So, again, bringing a right-handed here is probably not going to help us a lot. You know, Tool doesn't give up a lot of home runs. He only gave up 16 in 253 innings. So, we'll let him, we'll let him face Stewart here and see what happens. 5-8. And that's another fly ball out to left field. So, big, big out there for the Reds and Jim O'Toole. Robinson will make a few steps to Pinson and get it for out number two. All right, two outs, runner on first. Clemente runs at a 15, so he does have good speed. Don Hoke is walked twice and singled. One of those walks were intentional. Four, five, and that's a strikeout. So O'Toole bearing down, gets his sixth strikeout of the inning, or the game rather. Hope takes the pitch, and that one is caught the knees. And that'll do it for the Pirates in the seventh. No runs a hit. Runner left. Go to the top of the eighth. The Reds up by two. All right, Roy Face is on for his second inning of relief. Actually, he only did a third of an inning, but he starts with Gordy Coleman. Coleman's one for three with a run scored. 2-6, 1 1-17, got an 11, so that's another base hit for Coleman. So we've got a 2-6, 11 on the 20. The Reds lead off the 8th with a, with a base runner. Gus Bell's 1 for 3 with a run scored. They're bringing the corners in. I think I'm going to bunt, so that's the 10th hit of the game for Cincinnati. 3-7. And that's a fly ball out to center field. Bill Verdon, who's a fine fielder, will get it for out number one. Freeze is one for three. One, three, and that's going to be a ground ball to third. Oak will fire it to Mazeroski. Uh, but it uh, wasn't hit very hard, so Freeze will be able to leg it out to avoid the double play. Five to four, Coleman is out. Breeze is on first with the fielder's choice. The catcher, J Jerry Zimmerman. Be up next with two outs, runner on first. Five, five, and that's a shortstop X. Groats a 334, as we alluded to earlier. So a five. Let's see, they were holding him on, but he was not the one doing the holding. So that would have been a single otherwise. It's an 11 on the air check, and so he's going to make that play, looks like. The Grote fields it nicely. On to Stewart. And the Reds are retired in the eighth. Reds leave another runner on. 
Go to the bottom of the eighth. The Reds up six to four. So we got the Reds bullpen. Uh, O'Toole is due to lead off the next inning. So I'd like to see if I can get him through the inning here. Let's see, though. Gino Simoli is one for three with that two run single back in the first. 2 10, and that's popped up on the infield. Pasco will wave everybody off, one away. Al Smith reached on that big error in the uh, six by Pinson that the uh, Reds were able to overcome. 6 6. And one to five is a single. He got a 19. And that will be out number two. As Casco fields it in the hole, sets and throws. And the slow Smith is retired easily. Two away. Bill Mazeroski is one for three with that RBI. 2-11. And that's grounded down to first base. Late on a fastball, but Coleman will field it. And he will take it to first himself. So Tool getting a little better here as we progress. Retires him in order this time. And we are in the ninth. The Reds up six to four. So I think I'll let O'Toole hit. See if he can finish this out. He has a single and a sacrifice. Vice fly today. One, two. It's going to be a line out. Hits it to Stewart. Stewart's there. One away. Eddie Casco's got a couple of hits today with an RBI. That's his 19th run batted in. He only had 27 in real life. 110. And that's hit down to the second baseman, Mazeroski, who will have no difficulty with that one. They're quickly two away here in the ninth. Blasting game, sporting an 0 for 4 today. We'll take his crack at face, 2-9. And that's hit back to the box. There we go, 2-9. And face will throw him out to end the Reds' ninth inning attack. So let's see, what's the other scores? Hey, Milwaukee's beating San Francisco 4-2. to two. So if we can hold on, we might cut our deficit to one. If the, Bra if the Braves can hold on, go Braves. You all know I love Milwaukee Braves. All right. So Roy Face will lead off here, and I imagine they will pinch hit. Yep, Joe Christopher will take his place. Uh, Right-handed Joe... Christopher, pitch hitter. All right. Joe Christopher is uh, 231. No home runs, no RBIs, and limited play. We'll step in against O'Toole. Reds have the bullpen going. They've got uh, Bill Henry and Jim Brosnan warming up. Five six, and that's a single to right. The tying run will come to the plate. He slaps it to right. Bell throws it back in. Christopher runs at a 16. Wow, he's he's fast. Not, not a not a great base dealer doesn't look like, but he's fast. So that brings up Verdon. Hmm. Let's let uh, see what he can do with Verdon here. I don't think they're going to bunt because they're down by two. So here's Verdon is one for four today. We've got we to shake these because this one's an important bat. Four, seven, and he walks. Dang. And puts the tying run at first. So that's going to do it for, for O'Toole. It's gonna, we're going to have to bring in Brosnan here. Jim Brosnan will come in, and we're going to put him in the pitcher spot. Because we got, usually we'll bring Gus Bell in to play right, because he's quite a bit better than Pokes, but he's obviously in the game already. 
Jim Brosnan got his work cut out here for him in the ninth. He is 1 and 0 with 11 saves already, 193 ERA. So he is doing very well this year overall. O'Toole not able to seal the deal. So we got the corners in. Groats and A bunner. And that would be my I probably would be prone to bunt, so I'm gonna leave them in here. They're gonna let him hit away. So how about that? Groats already two for three today. Alright, here's the pitch, a big one. Two three. And that's popped up in foul ground. Zimmerman will toss his mask aside and he'll have room. And Big, big first out here. So that's a foul out to the catcher. One away. So we got Clemente, Stewart, and Hoke. So again, Brosnan's got his work cut out for him. Infield back at double play depth. Clemente is uh, one for three. Uh, his, this is exciting. This is a good one. Like I said, this is an important. So we got to shake the bones good this time. And I missed the tower as usual. Five, seven. Dang. That's a two-star single. Rosden's card is usually pretty good, but that seven is where it's at. But thankfully, he just got a 13, so that's a single. So that'll score Christopher. Gordon will make it to third. And the lead is now one. So Clemente with a big hit. corners so let's we'll do the corners in play the double play up the middle Verdon runs at a 15 Clemente at a 15 so we're going to have to go with Brosnan he's our man it's him or nobody so Stewart is one for three with a double big big at bat here and all the faithful fans of Pittsburgh on their feet three eight and he strikes out big strikeout wow Brosnan change up. Nice pitch. Struck him out for out number two. All righty. So we are Don Hoke. Don is uh, one for two. He's walked twice. One of those time intentional. So big, big here. Can the Reds pull it off? Don Hoke. Jim Brosnan. Two out. Two on. Reds up by one. Shake the bones. Four, eight, and that's a ground ball down to third. Freeze, who's not a great fielder, will get to this one. And he goes the easy way to second, and that is the game. So how about that? Five, four for out number three. Fielder's choice for Hope. And that will do it. So how about that? That was one of the best games I've had on the channel in a while. Actually, one of the best games I've had, period, in a while. Uh, and it's especially fun when you win. Uh, so the Reds uh, end up with six hits, ten or uh, six runs rather, ten hits, two errors. The Pirates five runs, ten hits, two errors. Uh, they improve to uh, 35 and 21, which is two games better than real life. And looks like the Milwaukee Braves hung on to beat the Giants four to two, and so the Reds are now one game out of first place. So. This, uh, this replay is turning out to be very, very fun. Uh, again, you got Frank Robinson tearing it up. Uh, Brosnan and uh, Bill Henry in the bullpen are just doing fantastic. I know I looked at the baseball reference, and uh, Brosnan had three blown saves in real life at this point. He's only had one so far, so you can see he picked up his 12th save today, and he only had 16. So uh, I'm probably using him a little bit different than they did back then, and also... Bill Henry being a lefty, he really good against lefties. He had 16 saves, so I probably need to start using him a little bit more, uh, even if it's not lefty-righty, because that's kind of what they did in real life. So I kind of want to play it, you know, I'm doing as played, so similar, you know, to what they did in real life. But it, at any rate, very exciting game. Uh, the Reds hold on to win 6-5, to five, so. As usual, I appreciate it very, very much. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, watching some good baseball, and uh, I will see you next time.